Alrighty, fellas and fellas, welcome back to the Hot Damn Racing Team, and if you're new here, welcome. Alright, so I decided to kind of scrap this deal for now. I'm going to keep a hold of it just in case I use it in the future. Alright, we're talking about turbo oil feed to rear mount turbo. Alright, and this is a T that goes in place, your oil pressure sensor. Oil pressure sensor goes here, alright, and you tee off the oil like so to go to your turbo. All right, now this was kind of a pain in the ass for me to install because I didn't want to have to cut the wiring up on this project. All right, I don't want things to be permanent and cut up a whole bunch. All right, just in case it don't work. All right, and I want it to be kind of plug and play as much as possible. All right, so the con was is uh, kind of have to do some custom modding to really make it work but it'll work all right uh pro oh another con it could break off all right uh because you know it's kind of sticking out there a little bit of leverage something it might snap and eh, you know it's i don't see that super highly likely but i guess it could happen all right see some complaints on that um a pro you're getting filtered oil. I'd have to say that's probably, it's really cheap. If you don't mind doing the little mods, all right, you're getting filtered oil cheaply to your turbo. It's pretty good. All right, this one right here, a little bit more expensive, easier to install. Don't have to stretch anything out. It just goes in, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, it's done. All right, and you hook up your feed line to any four of these ports and this plate isn't really directional this doesn't go that way but when you put it up in there you can move it any way you want all right before you put this in and tighten it up and put your oil filter on there all right which i'm really enjoying that con unfiltered oil all right going to your turbo on this cheap $555 billet turbine turbo. All right, I'm not really too worried about too much unfiltered oil. All right, I shouldn't have any bad oil going to it. Uh, going to the turbo, what I'm really worried about is unfiltered oil going back to the engine. All right, and that's why I already have a filter in place for that. It is magnetic and catches uh, particles in big chunks and whatnot. So, uh, that's what I'm really worried about. I'd rather save the engine than the turbo, right? I gotta make sure this deal works good first. Oh uh, yeah, I don't see it really a big deal. A little bit of unfiltered oil going to this cheap journal bearing turbo. All right, and it's kind of a big hole. It's just a shaft it has gotta hit. Oil's just cooling, going through if there is anything which there shouldn't be, right? If there is, then I probably got problems in the motor somewhere. All right, which is not good, but uh, yeah, any uh, shouldn't be going anything, even though it's not coming straight from the oil filter. So what? All right, I'm not trying to overthink this deal. I don't want to put an oil filter in line on the feed. I don't want too much restriction. I want it to flow really good and cool the turbo down. All right, for the most part, a little bit of lubrication, a whole lot of cooling. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, attempt to get it up in there. I don't know about tonight, maybe tomorrow, or this weekend. Sooner the better. Uh, I'd rather do it right now. It'd be really cool. But anyway, this is just kind of showing you what I'm going to do and a couple little pros and cons, right? Easy, a little more expensive, all right, uh unfiltered oil so you're going to want to have a filter probably more preferably going through your uh return all right unless you're really cool with going around and changing your feed filter uh quite often you know you want to check that uh, it's probably not as bad as people you know make it out to be put a filter on the feed that's probably what i'll end up doing and see how it works out saying it's a cheap turbo you know might as well test a few things you know, uh, I'm trying not to overthink this deal and stress out on what could happen. All right, it's, it's just is what it is. 
Um, we're gonna, we're, our goal is is to make it work, all right, and make it work uh, decently, all right. Maybe not most efficiently, but decently, and hopefully it runs for a long time. All right, uh, next video is hopefully going to be putting this deal on, kind of do the little install. It's easy breezy. All right. Uh, saying it was only like 30 bucks, 35 bucks, $8 for shipping because I wanted to get it here faster. Glow shift. All right, you can probably get uh, one from a different company. This one, I just like the way it looked. All right, it didn't have that cast look I've seen on a few other ones. It's 35 bucks. We're going to give it a shot. All right, and this is only a few dollars, the T. Right, if you're willing to put this in, you save a lot more money than you'll save with this. All right, because this, you're going to want to buy this, and then you're going to want filters. All right, hot day, hell yeah, y'all the baddest. All right, until next time, get some. Yee, yee.